Say hello to Bob. He's the owner of this 1957 Ford. And I asked if there was something in his past memory that made him want to buy this car. My uh, dad had a uh, 57 Redo 500 Ford. And I was 16 years old. I fell in love with the car. And uh, when the time came that this one here come up, I got inside the car behind the wheel and I tell you, looking at that dash and at the hood and everything, it brought back memories. I had to have that car. So we ended up buying it. And where did you find it? I found it, uh, a fella from uh, Essex had it purchased off of him. But from what I understand, I think the car come into uh, Canada in 92, if I'm not mistaken, from Texas. And I was told that a, a church owned it out of Wheatley. And I, I don't know whether he was a, a commercial fisherman, but from what I hear, this is, uh, this is the way it, this is what it is. This car went through a number of owners before Bob got his hands on it. Some work required. Put a new engine in it, new glass, labor of love in an empty pocketbook. That's about the size of it. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about the drivetrain. What it has is an 82 Ford 302 roller engine. It's all been done over, 30 over. Um, Holly four barrel, uh, C4 in it with the old three-speed automatic and uh, yeah it's that's uh, uh, it's about it dual exhaust and whatever goes with it there's something about the lines on these cars everybody knew what make and year it was just by the style that's something you don't see today they change uh, quite a bit through through the 50s uh, 55 and 56 were basically same body style. 57 was and 58 were basically the same, except they went to the double lights on a 58. And, well, you do, you know, actually, uh, in 57, Ford outsold GM. That was the first year that Ford outsold GM in 1957. This is a 63-year-old car, but despite its age, it cruises smooth as silk. It floats. For 1957, my uh, wife even mentioned it's it's amazing how smooth it runs for 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 that year because what you have is old suspension, 1955-57 suspension, which it isn't like the vehicles today, but she runs nice. Seats look comfortable. Uh, back in the day, uh, the, that that vehicle would have had a full bench. And uh, with the uh, backs turning down in order for the uh, passengers that were coming to sit in the back seat. Well, the interior really, I think they're out of an, uh, seats in that are of an 86 Lincoln. Probably a Lincoln Town Coupe being a two door. And uh, white, which is nice, but you're constantly cleaning it. And uh, soft leather, very soft leather. Yeah, so, is I end up putting seat belts on it. It didn't have seat belts. This looks like it's got a custom grill in it. The grill is uh, custom, but the fellow that owned the car uh, went to that custom grill, and the hood had louvers in it, which I pulled off, and I bought that hood off a fellow in Harrow. And uh, I was hunting for the original hood ornament, which I bought from Dennis Carpenter through the States. So, uh, me, I, I kind of like to keep it as stock as possible. Bob has owned this car for about six years and enjoys every mile he puts on it. I am. I, I had two other vehicles and uh, this is my baby, this one here. But, you know, like you said before, your first impression as a 16-year-old kid, mine was a 57 Ford. And when I got behind the wheel, I'm 72 now, and all those years I haven't forgotten. It, it just brought back memories. And we thank you, Bob, for sharing those memories with us. That's the story of Bob's 57 Ford. For more videos, go to YouTube, and in the YouTube search engine, type in PrimeLinks86. Or also in the YouTube search engine, Auto Nameplate. 
When you toggle down to the bottom of the page, click Next for even more videos of local cars and shows. Thanks for viewing. And come spring, we'll see you at the Car Shows and Cruise Nights.